Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. In this one, it's going to be essentially the first episode of a new journey. Now, keep in mind, we are starting this in the preseason. Once preseason is done, then we're starting again completely from scratch. But we did hit Masters as the season was just barely ending. And I guess the next step really is just to go for Challenger, right? I mean, you know, some people are going to be memeing in chat like, lol, 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 Challenger, lol. But that's the next step. And honestly, I feel like if I really try and if I really focus and try to improve and just, you know, get to that level, I think I honestly can do it. Uh, it'll just take, you know, obviously time and just improvement and, you know, limiting my champion pool, which was very important. And uh, yeah, so this essentially is the first episode of a new journey, journey to challenger. So if you guys are excited, hit it with that like button. But let's not waste any more time. Let's just queue up. Let's play some League of Legends. Let's play my first games in Master Elo on this main account that I haven't played yet. And, uh, oops, thank you. and yeah, let's see what happens, boys. Let's go. Let's do it. Also, guys, big shout-outs goes to Clutch Chairs. Check them out. It's a great chair company. Quality chairs. Feels great. They're big, very big, very successful. And I have a link to them down below, which you can use my code. Also, you can see it down below in the description to get a discount on these chairs, especially with Black Friday coming up in just a few days. It's probably the best time for you guys to get your own Clutch Chair. So check it out down below. I'll have a link there. Alright guys, the first game is about to begin, playing Zed in the mid lane against what looks to be Fizz with Summon Aerie. So, uh, very curious to see how that works out. This is going to be the uh, the current patch that we're... Uh, like, this is not recorded before the patch that you guys are currently on as you're watching this video. This patch just came out, I believe, today. So, Summon Aerie did get nerfed, which is why I bring it up. Um, so, I'm not entirely sure if Summon Aerie on Fizz is, like, you know, necessarily the best thing. But I guess we'll find out. Live, please. Damn, I used two potions kind of out of panic. Uh, I think that was pretty worth it. I got the first blood, and I think my cat's literally running around somewhere. I don't know. I, I swear I felt like the wind up here just now. Yeah, the Vi came mid to push this in. We're both at 8 CS. Hopefully, I don't miss too much. Vi is topside. Vi topside. Fizz with Ignite and you know his W dot and everything is pretty, pretty strong. I, I should have waited to level 3, maybe. They just got destroyed. Alright, Fizz is boss. I end up getting the kill on Jace. I'm assuming by somewhere there. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chill. Keep pushing this in. Put pressure up here. Oh, yeah, the Vi's are right there. Fuck. I should have been that a little bit sooner, I guess. The Jace TP, so I'm gonna push this in. Hmm. Okay, they're all down there, so I have free reign up here. Which is not bad. I mean, unfortunately, they are all dying, but. I can get a lot of solo experience and a lot of solo gold here, which is good for me as, as a Zed, as an assassin in general. Very, very good. Alright, that was a pretty close 1v1. I mean, he said no, he used it on me, but uh, clearly if his ultimate seemed to still be up, because he did clearly use it on me right there. It must have just came up though, that, I don't know. That was That was pretty close. Damn, that was a lot of damage on the Fizz, actually. I mean, I, I do have the Dust Blade and whatnot, and he actually, he has have an Arm Guard, so that's why I was a little surprised it did damage to him. Um, if he had Armor Boots, it would have been a lot better, but... We're setting out a 420 score, boys. There's no reason Lulu should be down here. Holy fucking shit. Wait, what the fuck? Vi is OP. Wait, what the hell? Vi does so much damage. Are you kidding me? Wait, this champion is disgusting. It doesn't show how much her ultimate did. There's no way she obviously did more than that, but... What the hell does she do? She does an absurd amount of damage. An ally has been slain. They're doing it. Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, this is gonna be a, a tough one to win, boys. Uh, they're, they're, our top and jungle are like literally they they don't do anything. Yeah. 
<laughs> all right guys game number two is about to begin playing casted in the mid lane the reason for this is because they instantly like their first two picks were echo which i thought was mid at first and then azir so the second i saw that i'm like you know what going casted in here is actually really really good because obviously casted is good against you know ap champions and if they have what i thought was gonna be initially two solo laner ap champions i thought echo was top it would been really really good but even having echo jungle is still not too bad someone's right here Oh, okay, flash on Echo. Jesus. Nice, well played. Nice, he lives too. Watch out for Echo though. Watch out for Echo. That the Draven, what the fuck is what is that? Deeps man. Jesus. Sazir needs to uh somebody needs to stop that Azir from getting my tower, boys. We need to charge in. We need to charge in. We need to go on Sazir. I want to try this little bit of an interesting build. My friend told me this is pretty good, where you go Roa Morellos, and then you go Zhonya's Lich Bane, like Void Staff, for instance, you know? Like, that's pretty much the build. I mean, he got it, I guess. Jesus, what the fuck just happened? How did this guy get a quadra kill? What, what, how, what did he hit us with? It was a real nice Azir ultimate, but Azir sacrificed himself for that ultimate, which ended up working out, but somehow an echo with Cinderhawk just got a quadra kill. Fucking god, dude. Dude, like... Yeah, we, I guess we should've just not done the Baron. We should've just left. Oh. I don't understand. What happened to the rumble? What, how, how did he die so fast? I'm not gonna lie, this Riven build seems extremely OP. Like, I, I just... 
How do you even... What do you do about that? Holy shit, I just can't win games right now, man. Hmm. Very interesting. I, I think the reason we lost is we had we had so many bad rotations. Like, that one time where we just tried to do the Baron, but we ended up turning on Azir, killing him, and we still went back to Baron, and then we ended up getting quadrated by the uh, the Echo somehow. Is like where it all went downhill. All right, guys, game number three, I believe, is about to begin. Playing Zed in the top lane against Heimer. I ended up swapping with the Singe because uh, I know Singe is like a very, very bad matchup against Heimer, so ended up giving him the mid lane, seeing hopefully, you know, that helps him a little bit there. Because um, for me, I, I don't know, to me, I think Anivia and Heimer are kind of equal. Heimer's probably a bit more annoying, but I think I can deal with Heimer a lot better than the Singe can. Oof. Oof. This is rough, boys. This is a rough one right here. Oh my god, I actually would have killed them there. My Qs didn't go off. What the fuck? I actually think I could have killed the Graves there. I literally pressed Q and I think Zed actually started the animation of doing Q. But it didn't go because he killed me at the split second. Like, this, literally the split second. No, like, no, not after that. Not after placing that down, dude. No, 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 no. God, like, dude, Heimer is actually such a. Oh, 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 oh my God! Oh, thank God! Jesus, like, I'm just gonna flash and kill him already because this is getting kind of ridiculous. I guess what I needed to do a lot sooner was get a Hex Shrinker. I forgot that they also have a Nivea mid. They have a lot of AP damage. Let's go. Push, push, push. I think we should get in here. I think Inhib was smarter there. Actually, no, yeah, no, no, never mind, never mind. With the Heimer, yeah, I think this is probably better, actually. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, nice match. Wait, what? Wait, what happened to Ezreal? Wait, what happened to Ezreal? I don't get it. Did he just flat out E over the wall just for the lulz? Or like, what happened there? Wait, what? What the fuck happened? I don't understand. Facing Heimer as a melee champion, a lesson learned is, wow, is it bad? It's so hard, it's actually impossible. Especially, the, you know, a natural good one-trick Heimer. Alright guys, uh, not the best way to start off uh, this, uh, this, you know, the, the, the new journey. Uh, yeah, just un unfortunate, man. Just, you know, some days you just have these games where, you know, you'll just you'll just lose games, man. Some days you'll win a lot, some days you'll lose a lot. I could've played better. Uh, this game, I need to remind myself what happened this game exactly. Oh yeah, this is the one where we had literally a top and mid that just, or a top and jungle rather that were very 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 useless and a vi that was surprisingly strong actually very strong who ults me and just destroys my anus this game we just honestly we it was ours to lose the riven build here i have to say though was was very strong very 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 strong riven build here uh very hard for me to deal with i guess the double ap was not good if only man if our top was actually an ad this would have been perfect i think and this game here i sacrificed myself i was supposed to go mid against anivia the cinch said a Nivy or a Heimer for him is a really bad matchup, which I know it is. And yeah, so I went top and my god, that was just not good. That was hard. That was very hard. Not good. 
But uh, I think we actually had this game won. I didn't see what happened with Ezreal. I'm assuming from what I saw, he just flat out eat over the wall. Like he played really well up until just that one thing. I don't know what he tried to do there. Either way, guys, I mean, a little bit of an unfortunate episode. Uh, you know, not the best way to start off, but luckily, at least, you know, we haven't lost any uh, actual LP. We lost a lot of MMR, I'm sure. Um, you get you get three free wins when you in initially like promote something. So in this case, you know, I had three free wins that... At zero LP, I can technically lose three in a row, and I'm on the mode. But if I lose one more right now, let's say, then I demote. So, the next one's gonna be tough, boys. The next one's gonna be pretty tough. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I have a new series coming out soon for you guys too, where I do an unranked to masters climb or to however high we can get in the preseason. So, I'll be releasing these episodes periodically as well. Uh, hopefully, we, we need to start winning games because if I lose one more, I demote. But either way, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, either way, hit up that like button, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.